part two. Now here's a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. Uh, the star called the sun. From the earth it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at this time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called a lunar rover. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take thing one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new. I hope you enjoy studying the planets this week and you find lots of information about yours that you want to learn more about. Until next time, a sweet misses you.